I get to go fishing today. <laughs> it's not storming. <laughs> it's not even raining. I get to go today. I get to go today. I get to go fishing. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Here we are again at the site of the infamous washout. I had just gotten here when I heard a big clap of thunder and the rest, well, the rest is on video, but uh, it was an interesting day to say the least. Today is gonna be better. I may not catch any fish, but as it at least right now appears, I don't have a chance of getting lightning struck, so. That's a good thing. So I've got the boat in the water. I'm gonna go park my truck out of the way and uh, we're gonna see what we can get uh, going here today. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what we can catch. fish of the day. <laughs> I just had it uh, hanging outside the boat here. When this little guy decided to get on, I'm gonna take some of these little tiny bass out here. So right now I'm using a wacky rig. That's a green pumpkin. Uh, I've just got an O-ring on there. And a size, um, I believe that's a three alt wacky ring hook. And uh, works pretty works pretty good. These, these fish out here really like this presentation. It's a great shallow water. Bait. Just throw it out there, uh, let it rest a little bit, and a lot of times that's when you'll get bit. And uh, if you don't, just jiggle it a little bit and uh, bring it back back towards you, just just like that, letting it rest, and then just twitching it a little bit. That that action that that that, that creates in the water sometimes drives those fish crazy. circle hook is such it if they've got it you give them a good tug it should get it about seven eight feet deep out here so I'm gonna let that fall a little bit more than I've been doing and I just saw I found out what it was. <laughs> it's not a big one, but it's the biggest one of the day. Having lots of camera trouble this morning. I don't know if it's the heat or humidity or what, but keep shutting down inexplicably. Come on, camera. You gotta get tough. Going gets tough, tough get going. Come on. 
I see a bass. Just saw a bass feeding over here by this dock. I think I'm gonna go rip its lip off. Tricky time. Yeah, sun. This one. saw the fish strike before and, uh, and set the hook before I ever felt it. <laughs> kind of neat. So what's wrong with my camera? I really think it's the heat. But that's going to be a problem because it's going to get a lot hotter than this. That's the beauty of these little O-rings. A lot of people don't like them. They would just rather hook the worm. Uh, I've heard people say it in, in, improves your hook sets. Uh, you miss less fish. I haven't missed many today that really got it. Um, and the worm lasts so much longer when you use a, the little O-ring. That's why I like it. A lot less wear and tear on your on your bait. Hey, hey guys and gals, I want to talk to you real quickly about some very familiar scripture. It's going to be quick because I'm standing in the sun so that this won't be so badly backlighted. But um, it is hot out here. I actually had, uh, I get these tackle bags in my Monster Bass subscription. And they're very nice, big plastic zipper style bags. And I have three of those inside my big tackle box bag. And uh, so through the top of that bag, through, the, through all that cloth and two or three layers of stuff, one of those bags actually melted. It had a hole in it when I came out. And um, the bag was actually melting and molding onto some baits in there. So anyway, I had to get everything in the shade and but i'm in the sun so this is going to be quick but uh this is familiar scripture uh, to christian americans especially over this past year or uh, 14 16 months whatever it's been since uh, the world first heard of coronavirus and then coronavirus was found on on lysol uh, bottles so um, they thought coronavirus wasn't scary enough so they started calling it covid 19 to freak us all out anyway uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. You've heard me talk about several times probably some of my favorite scriptures in the Bible uh, out of Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So many of his promises are conditional, just like these last two I've just given you. If we trust him, if we let him be Lord of our lives and put our lives completely into his hand and, and, and guide us, then he will direct our paths. It doesn't say we can do whatever we want to, believe how we want to, act how we want to, live how we want to, and he will. If we do what we're supposed to, he will. And Second Chronicles chapter 7 uh, is just exactly uh, the same way. If my people, that's God's people, that's the Christians, that's people who proclaim Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, which, by the way, I believe there will always be a remnant of, even to the end. God's Word says that. So we have a great obligation. Uh, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves 
and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. You hear that? God's people, wicked? Yeah, yeah. We all have some wickedness in us, don't we? Maybe it's in how we treat other people. Maybe it's in uh, how we don't share the gospel of Jesus Christ like I believe that he would have us to do. If we turn from our wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. We wonder why, uh, you know, the verse before that said, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, if there's a terrible drought, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, wouldn't you call COVID a pestilence? I know it's sure been a pestilence for me. But if we do all those things, he will still heal our land. Trust God today. Trust God today. Humble yourself. Pray. Seek his face daily. And turn from your wicked ways if you want God to take care of the problems in your life. God bless y'all. Well, here I am back in my truck. Yes, I got in the truck, rolled the windows all up, and have turned on the air conditioner. The old 94 uh, Toyota still has a cold air conditioner. Nothing's ever been done to it either, by the way. But um, what would you know, and I thank God for air conditioning. Do you thank God for the little things in your life, uh, not just the big things? Uh, do you think I thanked God the other day when I was out here and got soaking wet out in that lightning and did not get lightning struck? You better believe I thanked him. Uh, I thanked him the other night. I had a, uh, a wonderful opportunity to fill in with some of my best friends in, in gospel music. New ground, new ground out of Scottsboro, Alabama. Look those guys up. They're fantastic, great singers, and uh, even more important, great people and filled in with them at, at the Bama Theater there in Tuscaloosa and just had a blast. And uh, But my mom and dad uh, came, as they are so faithful to do, whenever I'm singing uh, anywhere uh, in within driving distance of them and they're able, uh, at, at 72 and 70 years old, they'll be there. And i tell you what, I've, I've never had and will never have bigger fans than my mom and dad. I appreciate and I love them so much and, and of course uh, my wife and uh, Ellie and Will came as well and uh, we had kind of made some plans to go to go eat uh, after the concert was all over and mom and dad uh, wanted to get on back home um, dad uh, is diabetic and doesn't eat after about six o'clock anyway so uh, we didn't we didn't get out of there till 9 30 uh, 10 o'clock and uh, we went and and I uh, found a little pizza place open and, and got us some yogurt. But uh, anyway, mom and dad uh, wanted to bring their own vehicle because they didn't uh, really want to uh, go with us to eat. And uh, and my wife felt so bad about what I'm about to tell you uh, in, in light of that. <clears throat> and had I been thinking, I could have come in my wife's car instead of my little car because I didn't need any of my equipment anyway. Kansas could have driven them in their car and then, um, and then they could have just gone home alone, but they could have all come together. Anyway, hindsight's 2020, nobody's fault. But as my mom and dad are circling the block there at the Bama Theater in downtown Tuscaloosa several times, trying to find a parking place, remember uh, all last week it was monsoons, uh, raining in by buckets, uh, whatever you want to call it, and it was doing that exact thing about. Uh, about 15, 20 minutes before that concert was about to start or when they got there. And uh, I don't know what happened, uh, but my dad ended up uh, in their Tahoe getting getting sideswiped. A, um, one of those big work utility type trucks uh, came in, well, it didn't come in, thank goodness. It just came down the side of the vehicle over there on my mom's door. And uh, so it got that door, it got the front corner panel, it, it ripped the bumper off. Uh, they had to call the police, all that. But um, if it had not been a glancing blow like that, it could have come uh, straight in uh, on my mom or even at a corner of that big truck and that just big steel bumper on that truck and um, could have very easily taken my mom's life and, and even 
of both of their lives and and there's uh, my mom already scheduled for back surgery anyway uh, jarred them up a little bit shook them up a lot more but um, everybody was all right and I guarantee you I thanked the Lord for that but hey I thanked him uh, this morning just for uh, being able to get out and, and, and enjoy a little sunshine and do some fishing the fishing was not great as I suspected it probably would not be on the backside of all this rain and and such and uh, I wouldn't call it a cold front uh, set in because it is certainly not cold if I had to guess it's it's between uh, 90 and 92 three degrees out here maybe maybe warmer than that I don't know I it's the hottest I've been this year that's for sure and um, the humidity is just sweltering it's it's about probably uh, 85 90 percent humidity but I had a great time and as always I thank you guys for tagging along with me uh, if you haven't done so already hope you've subscribed to my channel uh, I looked at my uh, analytics this morning on my YouTube page which is still just uh, really trying to get off the ground I think I'm up to uh, 150 subscribers or something like this uh, at the current uh, time and um, but 65 over 65 percent of the people that actually watch the videos are not subscribers so uh, I've, I've said it a lot but I'd encourage you again uh, if you'll go to YouTube and create your YouTube account uh, you'll be able to follow uh, people and subscribe to their channels and you'll see that in your daily subscription feed instead of just random stuff and uh, of course YouTube is is totally free to do that uh, unless you're like me and have a premium I, I, I got a premium subscription during the election I got so tired of seeing uh, ads for um, that guy that was mayor of New York Bloomberg Bloomberg every time I watched a YouTube video I, I couldn't get uh, two minutes into it without seeing a Mike Bloomberg ad so um, I bit the bullet and I got a twenty dollar uh, a month subscription to their premium service and you never see ads when you watch videos and and you can share that with your with your whole family like up to five or six people I think so uh, my kids and, and my wife they all watch YouTube videos as well so we um, we are enjoying that that's worth twenty dollars a month to me but um, you don't have to pay that YouTube uh, is totally uh, free but uh, go ahead and set you up a, a, a an account and uh, create you a YouTube uh, user account and then you can subscribe to my channel and if you like my videos I appreciate you punching that like button also you can find a little bell uh, and if you'll click on that bell you'll receive a notification on your phone or device and let you know when I upload something new which I try to do by the way every Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock and every Friday morning at 7 o'clock also it would not bother me a bit if you shared this video with your friends on your social media or ever how you'd like to do that thank you guys so much uh, for helping me uh, get this channel started I appreciate it more than you know may the Lord bless you remember he loves you and so do I bye